The Champions League is finally back. Here are State of Soccer's predictions for all eight 2023 Champions League round of 16 matchups to help you get ready for the return of football's premier competition. Let's start it off with PSG vs Bayern Munich. FC Hollywood, bling bling PSG come together for this matchup. These nicknames come from the club's proclivity to sign big stars. Stars will decide this tie, but unfortunately not for the reasons us fans want to hear. Bayern and PSG could be missing many of their stars when they come together for this Champions League tie. PSG's Kylian Mbappe, Sergio Ramos, and Neymar all could miss at least the first leg. Bayern's Manuel Neuer, who broke his leg while skiing, Nose Masawi, Lucas Hernandez will miss both legs, and Sadio Mane could be out too as he continues to cover from the injury he suffered prior to the World Cup. Both teams are missing stars, but the players PSG are missing are far more important than who Bayern will be without. Bayern should advance, but it will be close. Our pick is Bayern Munich. This ties a matchup of two of the biggest so-called crisis clubs in Europe right now. Tottenham continue to be plagued by inconsistent form and poor first half performances, but they are still within the reach of finishing the season in Champions League spot. Milan started the season with the hopes of defending their Scudetto, but Napoli quickly proved too much to handle for the reigning champions. Milan kept pace with Napoli until match day 12 when they lost to Torino. Since then, Milan have spiraled and currently sit in fifth place. Mike Mignon's calf injury back in October is a big reason for Milan's poor form. The French goalkeeper should be back this month, but probably not in time for Milan's first match against Tottenham. Tottenham's Harry Kane, Hyun-min Son, and Dion Kulikevsky will be fancying their chances against a demoralized Milan side who have given up 9 goals in their last 2 games. Tottenham could be without their manager Antonio Conte for the first leg following his gallbladder removal surgery this week. Milan's injuries include Fikoyo Tomori, Ismail Benassir, and Serginho Des, who could all miss at least one leg. With or without Mignon, Tomari, Benassir, and Des, we think Tottenham will be too much for Milan, and they will advance to the quarterfinals. Our pick? is Tottenham Hotspur. Benfica and Club Bruges were two of the biggest surprises from the Champions League group stage. Bruges were top of Group B until the last match day when they were leapfrogged by Porto. Benfica meanwhile finished top of Group H, upsetting Juventus twice along the way. Outside the Champions League, these clubs couldn't be more different. Benfica started the season on a 28-game unbeaten streak across all competitions and currently sit 8 points clear at the top of the Portuguese Premier Liga. Bruges are underperforming in the Belgian Pro League and recently fired their manager Carl Hofkins. Hofkins was replaced by former Fulham and Bournemouth manager Scott Parker. Parker has won just one of his first five games in charge. Benfica are without Enzo Fernandez, who they just sold to Chelsea for £121 million, but they still should easily beat Bruges in this Champions League matchup to make it to the quarterfinal. Our pick is Benfica. Back in November at the round of 16 draw, this looked like an American fan's dream. A serious knee injury to Christian Pulisic earlier this month unfortunately changed that. The dominant Chelsea storyline going into this matchup is all of their new players. Chelsea signed eight players, eight players in the January window. However, UEFA registration rules mean that they will only be able to register and use three of their new signings in this Champions League. 106 million pound man Enzo Fernandez and 89 million pound Mihalo Mudrik were the obvious first choices for the first two of the three new players registered. After that, Graham Potter had to just pick one player out of Jao Felix, Benoit Badesiachil, David Fofana, and Nori Madueke to take with him against Dortmund. He chose Yao Felix. Chelsea have struggled to score against even poor Premier League oppositions. We think they'll have a similar problem against Dortmund. Our pick? It's Borussia Dortmund. European nights at Anfield and the Santiago Bernabeu are always spectacular events in their own right. But this tie's spectacles are enhanced by the fact that it's a rematch of last year's Champions League final. Liverpool's time as a dominant team in Europe appears to be coming to an end. They're currently just ninth in the Premier League and their aging midfield has been exposed by the likes of Brighton. Injuries have really affected Liverpool's season so far and will affect this matchup. Virgil van Dijk, Konate, Luis Diaz, Jota, Roberto Vermino, and Arthur Melo are all expected to miss at least one leg. Real Madrid are suffering the same aging process as Liverpool, but their aging stars of Luka Modric and Toni Kroos are performing to a higher level than Liverpool's Jordan Henderson, Thiago, and Fabinho. Real Madrid also has the luxury of younger players who can slot in if they need a change of pace that Liverpool doesn't have. Just like last year in the final, we don't think Liverpool has what it takes to get past Real Madrid. Our pick? It's Real Madrid. The next tie is probably the hipster's choice for the best round of 16 matchup due to the romance involved with both clubs. Napoli are dominating Serie A and are on pace to win their first Scudetto since the legendary Diego Maradona won the world's hearts with Napoli over 30 years ago. 
Frankfurt won the Hearts of the World more recently, with their impressive run to win the Europa League last year. Their passion traveling fans and fierce fight against big clubs earned them respect all around the world. Frankfurt proved themselves to be upset specials last year, but beating Napoli would take a great magnitude more than it took to beat the likes of Barcelona, West Ham, and Rangers. We ultimately think Napoli should make light work of Frankfurt, but we wouldn't want to count out Frankfurt given their history as underdogs. Our pick is still Napoli. While Frankfurt Napoli was the hipster's choice, Manchester City versus RB Leipzig is a football purist nightmare. Both RB Leipzig and Man City have many critics for their non-traditional practices and multi-club ownership models. The critics can't deny their successes though. Man City and Leipzig are both firmly within the title races of their respective leagues, but Man City has the clear edge over Leipzig. The last time the two sides played in the Champions League was in 2021 Champions League group stage. Man City beat Leipzig 6-3 in the only match they played a full strength side against Leipzig. Leipzig will be without key attackers Danny Olmo and Christopher Nkunka while Man City come in with close to a full strength squad. Beating RB Leipzig should be mere formality for Man City. Our pick, it's obvious, Manchester City. Like Napoli versus Frankfurt, this tie also has something for football romantics to enjoy. Both teams once famously won the Champions League under legendary manager Jose Mourinho. In the current day, both clubs are second in their leagues, behind dominant Benfica and Napoli respectively. Porto played impressively to top a Champions League group stage containing Bayern Leverkusen and Atletico Madrid, but beating Inter Milan might be a challenge too big for Porto. Inter Milan finished second to Bayern Munich in the group stage and recently lifted the Italian Supercoppa. Forward Latar Martinez is hitting his stride for Inter, but Porto have a strong forward of their own. Only Kylian Mbappe and Mohamed Salah scored more group stage goals than Porto's Mediterrani. Tarimi could cause problems for Inter Milan, but we think Inter's overall strength will push them past Porto. Our pick? It's Inter Milan. So there you have it. These matchups and eight picks here from State of Soccer in the round of 16. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please remember to hit like, subscribe, and if you really enjoyed it, show some love via super thanks. It goes a long way to help me put together future episodes just like this one. And until next time, take care everyone.